How's it going, everybody? I'm back. I know it's been a minute, just a few weeks between videos this time. This is another voiceover update video. So if you don't care about that, you can click off. If you do care about that, cool, thanks, great. You're awesome, I love you. <laughs> if I look tired or sound tired or just am tired, uh, I am, I am extremely tired, but for a very, very good reason. This past weekend was VO Atlanta, which is one of the biggest voiceover conferences in the world, if not the biggest voiceover conference in the world. And if you haven't been able to tell by the multiple videos I've got up on this channel that state that I'm a full-time voice actor, um, I'm a full-time voice actor? Uh, you, you name it, I want to be in it, it, or if I am not already in it, but... This conference is probably one of the biggest stepping stones of any voice actor's career just because of the amount of information that just gets dumped on you. And I don't mean dumped on you in a negative light. This has been one of the most informative, influential, informational, fucking you name it. It has been that weekend for me in a positive, positive, positive light. I'm sure at this point you've seen at least one ad from Joe Zija, uh, the voice actor, talking about his voice acting academy, the Joe Zija Voice Acting Academy. Um, I am a part of that, but I'm also a part of a subsection work group, accountability group, friend group called Pandora's Vox. Might help if I can speak words properly, but it's called Pandora's Vox, and they have helped me so much. In I I've only been a part of the group for the last about two months, but those, the, the, that month or two has been amazing. And they, a good chunk of them were able to make it and we were able to hang out and we were able to do a bunch of stuff. It helped that VO Atlanta was just such a great environment, not only just to learn things, but to network and to get to n learn people. There were a bunch of people that were there that I wasn't expecting to meet there, like Maurice LaMarche. The voice of Brain from Pinky and the Fucking Brain. The voice of Toucan Sam. The voice of a bunch of shit. I got to meet him. Got to talk with him. That was amazing. Mami Okada from Bang Zoom. The head of operations at Bang Zoom was there. I got to do a workshop with her. That was fantastic. Julia Scheffling. I feel like I just butchered the shit out of her name. But she did the casting direction for Spider-Man 2. For Breath of the Wild 2. For a bunch of different things. And it was just great to be able to meet with these people. On top of the knowledge that I learned, I think the friendships that were expanded upon, the work relationships, even though we're, even though voiceover is a competitive landscape, it's one of the most endearing and genuinely comfortable places that I've ever been in my life. Uh, I, I do music. I make these video game review videos. But voiceover has always just it's always been there i've never felt weird for doing voiceover work i've never felt ostracized by other voice actors in doing voiceover work and these guys are no different these are my accountability group they are some of the nicest people funniest people greatest people that i've had the pleasure of meeting and i know i'm like one of the newest people of the group but they welcomed me with open arms and that's the beauty of voiceover is that even if you are just starting out, even if you are brand spanking new, most people in the industry, most people in the profession are not assholes. Most people will be like, yeah, come on. What do you, what do you need? What do you, what, what do you want to work on? What do you want to do? And they'll help you. It's, it's fucking insane to think about because on camera acting is not like that. On camera acting uh, fucking blows. But all of that to say, I was very hesitant to go to VO Atlanta because of, there's a, I, it's like fucking $700 for the, for the tickets and then flights and, and then a hotel room. And I didn't have a car. Thank God there was a shuttle, but I did have to pay for an Uber once and then food. And it ended up being close to $1,300 just for the one weekend. But I am positive that from the relationships that I built and the things that I've learned that have been implanted in my brain and the notebook that's sitting in my office, I 
could not have picked a better place to go. Now, all of this to say, if you're a voice actor wanting to get started in voiceover or don't know where to start or don't know what to do this, don't know what to do that, VoiceOver Atlanta is one of the best places that I can recommend to even newbies or beginners rather because like I said, everybody welcomes you with open arms. Yes, it's a lot of money. Very f small chance that if you're just starting out in VoiceOver, you can pay for that with VoiceOver income. But if you can find a way, Drake and Josh, your way into getting a ticket to the convention. If you live in Atlanta, or if you want to just do a one day, you can just get one day tickets for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I highly recommend it. Also, you can check out the links in my description to D. Bradley Baker's website, I want to be a voice actor.com, uh, the Josie Jo Voice Acting Academy, not affiliated for any of these. However, as somebody that's been doing this for the better half of the last five years, or the better part of the last five years, not the better half, Jesus Christ. I've been doing it for five years. Coming up, this will be my fifth year as a professional voice actor in eight, two, two or three years as a full-time voice actor. But D, I'll, I'll link everything that has been a help to me in, in the past in the description below. And I'd say give it a shot. If, if you really, 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 really think that you will enjoy it, then you're going to enjoy it. So, as a great, great thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, you can check out the links in the description. There is a very, 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 very fun video that I have planned. Going back to game reviews. And with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's Pulse Wave signing out. Peace, peace, guys.